Xu Shaku, the famous traveler of the Ming Dynasty, once wrote, Here the mountain peaks give the impression of a forest. His remark is a reference to the unique karst landform of southern Guizhou province. The region has plenty of rainfall and vegetation, but is rarely visited by frost. There are few major rivers, but numerous springs and waterfalls. Libo County in Guizhou province is situated in a region of karst landform. On its 2,000 square kilometers live more than 167,000 people, of whom 87% are ethnic minorities. Among the minority groups, the Shui people are in the majority. The close association between the Shui people and water is evident even in their name, which means water. As Shi Cha Hai explains, the Shui nationality were originally northern fishermen. But for some unknown reason, they fled south, evidently reaching Guizhou province. They have their own language, which belongs to the Dong Shui branch of the Zhuang Dong group of the Sino-Tibetan language family. Although they still tend to live by water, the Shui are now mostly farmers. Their traditional houses, known as Dao Jiao, are similar to those of many other southern ethnic groups. But one thing that sets the Shui apart from other ethnic groups is their written language. Their characters and classics are written in what is known as Shui Shu, a kind of hieroglyph. Texts written in Shui Shu are a record of their history and contain moral guidance. In essence, the Shui Shu texts advocate kindness and mutual assistance.那个水书点击就是用水族文字写成的就叫这叫的点击就叫也叫称为那个水书另外一种呢它是水族的文字它也是算是水书所以说它有两种汉汉译那水书呢它呃它主要它的构那个造字那个方法呢它有呃基本上
，呃，很多文字学家还有一些很多的文字不能改读，但是我们水书这些符号能在，呃，我们水书里面不只是一个字、两个字，它很多很多的出现这些符号，就仅凭这一点，至少它与汉文化的那个比呃古老的那个汉文化是有一定的渊源的。Although it's impossible to say just who created Shui Shu, the masters offer a very mysterious version of its origin. Now, the date I can't remember. This is old people said. This book is Liu Dogong Chao. It's like that. It's just one by one passed down. It's like that. 指那个亚洲画面是是陆亚六大公，陆亚公就就创造出来，我们就没晓得了。他就写这个字，是仿效这个自然来写这个字的，都是仿效，看自然的变态，来仿效自然，起这个代名词来，然后就教大家去用，去记，就作为历史记载。Lebo County has beautiful mountains and rivers. Every spring, the blossoming wild plums bathe the peaks in a gentle fragrance. The waters assume various shades of white and dark green. Festivals are held to admire the plums, attracting Shui people from all around, dressed in their finery. The most important part of the celebration is the offering. Masters come from all the surrounding villages to arrange Shui books and food on the altar. After lighting the incense, they read aloud Shui Shu texts, recording how their ancestors created the world and the Shui language. Shui Shu masters are selected for their honesty and high level of education. Their knowledge comes from their fathers and older Shui Shu masters. It takes them decades to earn the respect due to a Shui Shu master. In recent years, Shui Shu has attracted considerable outside attention. We this Shui Shu, this it is mainly the content is more broad, more wide. For example, it is designed to include some, uh. 呃，结婚呐、啊，呃，还有些那个丧丧葬啊，还有些呃起房盖屋，哎，呃，还有些就是涉及到一些呃节庆呐、啊、节令呐、啊，这等等。The Shui Shu texts can be regarded as an encyclopedia for the Shui people. They are a compendium of the Shui people's knowledge. The texts have an influence on people's daily activities, both at home and at work. Shui Shu texts fall into many categories. There are texts about agriculture that record the local climatic features and the local farming traditions. Put together, these provide guidance for the farmers. There are texts about the dates and seasons of the calendar based on the stars and moon's orbit. Texts about architecture explain the traditional techniques of building houses, roads, bridges, and even pigsties and chicken pens. A text on animal and plant protection warns people against killing wild animals, destroying forests, and polluting the water. Texts on ceremonies document the key Shui festivals such as Duan and Mao. Interestingly, the festivals fall at different times of the year and in different regions so that people can celebrate them in turn and have more contact with one another. Texts about handicrafts and manufacturing teach the skills and techniques of making artifacts. A special category are the texts about marriage. They elaborate the precise procedures for the proposal, engagement, and wedding ceremony, and also lay out the most propitious days. 
Surprisingly, there are even Shui Shu texts about commerce, covering topics such as business operations and joint investment, and how to avoid losses and make a profit. The Shui Shu texts also record the typical ways in which people express love. Love, it said, should be conveyed through singing in the traditional love songs inherited from their ancestors. It's by singing songs to each other that young Shui people fall in love. When the time comes for them to marry, everything is done in conformity with what is recorded in the Shui Shu texts. The parents ask a Shui Shu master to work out the most propitious dates for the engagement and marriage, based on the hour and date of the couple's birth. Once the date is set, the Shui Shu master will write a propitious message based on the bride's birth date on a slip of red paper. This will play a key role in the wedding ceremony. When the day arrives for the groom to collect his bride, the girl's family prepare a fine meal. They also put her dowry and all the gifts from her friends and relatives in the family room. Yet, the bride doesn't appear, even though it is the day her betrothed is supposed to collect her. The groom's family simply carry the dowry away. After the meal, the groom's party come into the family room, where they see a row of bowls filled with alcohol on the table in front of the dowry. Beneath one of the bowls is the slip of red paper on which the Shui Shu master noted down the girl's birth date. They have to guess under which bowl it is located. If they choose the wrong bowl, they must drink all the alcohol in it.